What about carbon dating? Now, carbon dating is a little better because we think the acceleration of the radioactive decay didn't affect carbon as much. But car people have heard of carbon dating and they think it gives billions of years. It doesn't, nor could it, because C14 decays very quickly. I'll, I'll come back to that. But um, carbon dating is one type of these, this radiometric dating. But with carbon dating, it tends to give the right answer. And when we, when we test it on things of known age, it tends to give reasonable answers. Now, it's not infallible either. But it tends to give answers that are um, consistent with what we'd expect when tested on things of known age. And the idea with um, carbon dating is there's a certain variety of carbon. Most carbon is C12. There's a certain variety of it that's C14. It's got two extra neutrons. And it's radioactive. C12 is stable. C14, radioactive. And a small fraction of that is in the atmosphere that we're breathing right now. It's in the food that you eat. It's incorporated into your body. So a small fraction of you is C14. So you're all slightly unstable. How about that? <laughs> you knew that, though, right? And while you're alive, I mean, that C14 is constantly decaying into nitrogen. But when you're alive, you're replacing it because you're eating new food. You're breathing air and so on. You're exchanging carbon with your environment. And so you replenish it. But when you die, it simply decays away. And so the idea is, by measuring the C14 to C12 in something, you can tell how long ago it died. And we find that it tends to give the right answer. And the interesting thing is it gives the right answer that creationists would expect, even on things that evolutionists believe to be millions of years old, like coal beds. You can take a chunk of coal. It'll have C14 in it every time. You won't, you won't find an exception to that. And yet, if uh, C14, if the entire Earth were nothing but C14, after one million years, you would not have a single atom left. That's how quickly, how quickly it decays. And yet, they find it in coal beds that they think are hundreds of millions of years old. Can't be that old. The C14 would be gone. We've even found C14 in diamonds, <coughs> diamonds that evolutionists believe to be one to two billion years old based on these other radiometric um, methods. And yet, you, you, there's C14 in them. <laughs> they can't be that old. They can't be more than a few thousand years old. Isn't that interesting? And they say, well, there must be some kind of contamination. How? It's a diamond. It's the hardest substance. How are you going to get new C14 in there? It's, it's, it doesn't make any sense. We've even carbon dated uh, dinosaur fossils. You know, sometimes with fossils, if there's enough carbon left, you can actually carbon date them. And uh, every one that we've tested has C14 in it. They're all thousands of years old. Not one of them is dated millions of years old by carbon dating. 